Hey guys, and welcome back to Teal House Farm. Today we're gonna to do a quick video and I'm going to show you how I make my instant oatmeal packets. Um, this is basically just replacing those store-bought packets that you can buy, you know, the blueberry or the strawberry or the maple and brown sugar oatmeal. And we're gonna make them here at home. And there's a couple reasons I, I do this um, now and again is one, it's less expensive. Those pre-made packets get expensive. Two, I can customize the flavors to what we like best. When we buy the packets, I've noticed like none of the kids like the banana one. And so we would buy these big boxes from like Sam's Club and then we would have 20 banana oatmeal packets left because nobody liked that one. And then three, we have a little bit more control over the ingredients, which helps us make our favorite things, but make them in a way that maybe there's a little bit less sugar or there's no added preservatives. So today we're going to make um, one of each flavor. And the reason I'm doing this is because um, Sam is going back. This is his last semester of nursing school. Yay. And he's going to have super long days coming up. And one thing that he asked for was just really easy breakfast that he could grab himself on his way out the door. So we're going to make these oatmeals for him. So he just has to add hot water. Um, but I'm not sure which flavors he's going to like the best. Um, and so I'm going to make one of each and you can try them this week and you can tell me which one he wants more of and which ones he didn't like quite as much. These are all flavors that I like. And so I've made all of these before and I think they're all good, but this is not my, my palette we're going for. This is um, ease of things for Sam. So we're going to try one of each. I'm going to show you how I make each uh, so that you can replicate this at home. So a couple real simple things you're going to need. We're going to use glass mason jars. Um, the reason for this is we can, when we're ready to eat these, we can either add water and put them in the microwave or we can add hot water directly to the jar. And you also need lids for your jars, okay? We're gonna use a wide mouth funnel, it just keeps us from making a big mess. You're going to need instant oatmeal, the quick oatmeal, not the um, regular rolled oats. Today we're using these instant oats packets um, because I have a bunch of them and so it's easier. You can get a big container of instant oats. It's less expensive, but we're gonna use up what we have in the pantry. Um, and for general rule of thumb, one of these packets, I believe is about a third cup of oatmeal. And then the last thing you need for your base, so this is before we add any flavor, is dry powdered milk. I have some leftover for a project that I put in this baggie, and we're gonna use this too. So that's your base. That's before you add any flavor, that's what you need to get started. Now today for flavors, we're going to be making a blueberry, and for that we're going to need dried blueberries, and we'll need some sort of sweetener. Today we're going to use brown sugar, um, in the past, I have used honey. I prefer that option, but right now inflation's really high. You guys know that, and every extra penny counts, and so we're using a lot less honey for um, foods that need just a tiny bit of sweetening. I'll just use a pinch of sugar instead because honey is super expensive. We save the honey for other things. So we're going to use blueberries and honey. The next flavor we're going to make is peach. It's pretty much the same. We're going to have dried peaches and just a pinch of brown sugar. You could also add honey instead of brown sugar. Or if you need a, a non-sugar substitute like stevia, you can use that as well. It all works just the same. Okay, and then we're going to do a nut one. So I have my peanut butter powder, which I love. This is so yummy and so many things. That's some ex excellent like energy ball bites for breakfast. Maybe I'll make a video on those later that the girls love. Um, so we'll need this and we're also going to add some crushed pecans that I had in the freezer from an old project. And the last one we're going to make is just like a cinnamon raisin. And so we just have a little bit of cinnamon, a packet of raisins. Um, with this one, I've also added dried apples before in the past. I don't have any dried apples today and I don't feel like making the dehydrator work 12 hours for one thing of oatmeal. So um, we're just gonna use this, but no, you could add some dry apples to this as well and it's delicious. And this would also need a pinch of brown sugar or honey. So let's go ahead and get started. Since we're making these for Sam, we're gonna use a pint jar. When I make these for the kids, I use a half pint jar. Um, and we just use one packet of oatmeal for the kids. For an adult, I use two packs of oatmeal. This is just to keep portions good for however big people's bellies are. Um, but today we're making them from Sam. So for each pint jar, we're going to use two packets of oatmeal. So the first one we're gonna do is the blueberry. It's pretty simple. We're gonna use our funnel. We're gonna add two of these packets of instant oatmeal. If you aren't using instant oatmeal, you would add somewhere between like a half to two thirds of a cup of the instant oatmeal to the jar. Okay. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of dry milk. 
if you are lactose intolerant or just dairy free, know that you could use powdered rice milk instead, or you could take about, I don't know, an eighth of a cup of the instant oatmeal and grind it up in a food processor. The reason we add the powdered milk is it helps with the texture. And so if you can't have the milk, either that powdered rice milk or a powdered actual oatmeal will help give you a better texture on your final product when you cook it up. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and just add some of these dried blueberries. I buy these blueberries from Walmart specifically for making oatmeal because the girls love the blueberry oatmeal packets. Um, and it's just, it's cheaper to do it ourselves. Get a whole, the blueberries feel a little bit expensive when you buy them, but there is a lot in here and they go a long way. Okay, and then we're going to add just a tiny pinch of brown sugar. We do not need a whole lot. The milk's already a little bit sweet and um, the blueberries are sweet, so just a little bit. All right, that one is done. We're gonna push it aside. We'll put a lid on it in a second. Next one up, we're gonna start just the same with two packs of oatmeal and a tablespoon of the dried milk or milk substitute of your choice. And this time we're gonna go ahead and make the peach. The peach one, um, the dried peaches, come in kind of big chunks. So before we add them in, we're gonna break them apart a little bit smaller so they're more spoon sized. You see, they're kind of, they're kind of like wafers. That's too large. So we're just gonna break them apart. They break apart super easily, just into smaller bite-sized pieces. The dried peaches have a different texture than the ones that are in the instant packets. And at first I wasn't sure if this was gonna work, but um, cause these are freeze dried peaches, but it actually, once they get hot and in here, it's exactly the same. It works out great. Okay. And just a small pinch of some brown sugar to keep it sweet. And that one's done. All right. Next one, we're going to start the same way again. One thing I'm not sure of. So when I use honey instead of brown sugar, I wait until the day that I'm going to cook it to add honey to the jar for sweetening. And I've had arguments with myself over and over about whether I could add the honey at the same time that I'm making these, because honey is supposed to be like super duper shelf stable, right? I imagine you could, like if we wanted to use honey today, we could add it to these jars, even though we're not gonna eat them all maybe for a few weeks, but I'm not 100% on that one. I'd be interested to see what you guys think in the comments, whether you should wait and add the honey, because it's not a dry good, right? but it is supposed to be super self super shelf stable. So I don't know, I'm torn on that one. Okay, let's make the raisins and cinnamon. Again, adding apples to this, dried apples to this is delicious. I just don't have any today, so we're just gonna do the raisins. Okay, and we're just going to add maybe, maybe like a half, maybe a little less than a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Remember, cinnamon goes a long way. And we're just gonna add again a pinch of brown sugar. Okay, last one. This is probably my favorite. I love this one. It's got a nice nutty flavor and a good crunch. So, two packets of oatmeal. Okay, your scoop of dry milk powder or milk powder substitute. And we're going to add a half of a tablespoon. So one half of a tablespoon of this peanut butter powder. It's got a pretty strong flavor, so you don't need to go crazy with it. And we're going to add a teaspoon of our ground up pecans. Now you can use any kind of nut you want. I use pecans because we use pecans in other recipes, so I always have some in the freezer. Again, um, almonds or walnuts would work great. Just a little pinch of brown sugar. I do really like adding fresh bananas to this one as well. Um, dried bananas have a very, their texture can be a little bit rubbery or just super like crunchy. They don't do quite as well, I feel like, in the, in the oatmeal um, when you heat it up. So fresh bananas are much better. Okay, it's all done. There's our final lineup to test this week and see which one he wants more of. Again, I like all of these, but we'll see what he likes. Obviously, I'm going to put lids on these in just a second. I uh, didn't bring them over here with me. I am not going to vacuum seal these because they're going to be used quickly, like within a week. If I made, you know, 30, I might consider vacuum sealing just to keep the freshness in. 
So when you're ready to use these, it's really simple. You add one cup of water to each cup. You can either add a cup of hot boiling water and just let it sit for a minute, it'll cook the oats, or you can put a cup of cold water in and put it in the microwave for about a minute to a minute and a half, depending how powerful your microwave is, and that'll heat it up just, just as well. Either way works great. Um, also, the mason jar lids are just nice and lock tight, even if you don't vacuum seal them. So if you wanted to pack this in a lunchbox, say you work night shift and you're going to eat breakfast at work, this packs in a lunchbox super easily. It's not going to spill everywhere. And if you don't want to use mason jars and say you don't have a bunch, you could definitely put these in little Ziploc baggies and just pour them in a bowl when you're ready to use it. I just like the mason jar because it's one container and done. We're going to make it in this container. We're going to eat it in this container. And then I just wash one container at the end. Thanks so much for watching. If you make your own instant oatmeal, I would love to hear what flavors you enjoy the most. Always interested in trying new things. We will see you guys next time.